Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Confidence. I hope you're doing good. Uh, we thank God for the gift of life and for his mercies upon us. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the other kinds of visas that uh, uh, you can obtain from the Nigerian embassy in Sweden or of course any of the Nigerian uh, embassies all around the world. Now I'm going to be looking at the four uh, different types of visas uh, because the requirements are much and I don't intend to make this video so long. I'm going to leave all of the requirements is a lot, all the requirements in the description box so that uh, it will be, you know, um, helpful to anyone that would want to uh, look at them. So now, first off, I'm going to uh, be talking about the business visa. The business visa is for people that intend going to Nigeria for business purposes. If you're doing a business uh, with a company in Nigeria or you want to go start a company in Nigeria, that's the kind of visa you will need, a business visa. And uh, the second type of visa I want to talk about is the TWP visa. That's the temporary work permit visa. Temporary work permit visas are usually short term working visas, uh, sometimes just for 30 days, sometimes 60 days, uh, uh, you know, the person is given the visa to go work in Nigeria for a very short time, a short duration of, uh, you know, uh, uh, a time to work in Nigeria. That's called TWP visas, short term working visas. And now the number three kind of visa is uh, the STR. STR visa subject to regulations uh, regularization, sorry. Uh, it's uh, a long-term visa. That's the difference between temporary work permit and uh, um, the STR subject to regularization. And now STR visas are usually when you apply for an STR visa, if all the requirements uh, are provided, the visa is approved, uh, the mission gives you 90 days. They're going to give you 90 days uh, uh, visa. With that 90 days visa, you can go into Nigeria. And when you go into Nigeria, you're going to resubmit. Uh, you resubmit uh, usually the STR visa. Let me start it this way. The STR visas, the application of STR visa is unique and is different in the sense that you're going to provide four copies of every document that you're, uh, you're required to uh, you know, provide four documents, uh, four of each documents. So uh, let's say the form is going to be four, your uh, guarantee letter is going to be four, you know, the certificate of incorporation is going to be four, the expatriate quota is going to be four, and so on and so forth. So everything, four passport pictures, everything is going to be in force. And then when the person is going, the, the, the mission keeps one application and gives the person three of the other applications to go to Nigeria with. So when that person goes to Nigeria, he heads to the um, Nigeria immigration and they're going to now put a longer, we give 90 days, that person is going to be given 90 days in his visa uh, uh, in his uh, 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 passport and then when he gets when he or she gets to Nigeria he's going to be given a longer term maybe one year maybe two years as the case may be so that's for STR visa and then we have also the diplomatic visas now diplomatic visas are for diplomats uh, uh, from different uh, countries people that have hold diplomatic passports and then you see uh, people that work with uh, uh, non you know non-governmental organizations that have uh, a memorandum of understanding with uh, uh, federal governments uh, for instance you have the red cross so uh, you also have doctors uh, without borders and also you have the united nations uh, some of these organizations they're entitled all these organizations though they're entitled to diplomatic visas especially if the united nations uh, 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 applicant has you know um, uh, a diplomatic passport so now 
those ones, those people with these uh, 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 under these organizations, organizations I just mentioned, they are entitled to diplomatic passports. And then I also also want to say something here. Sometimes there are, there are people that hold what we call alien passports. Now, um, alien passports are usually given to people uh, whose uh, identities are not yet settled or whose applications, uh, uh, you know, in that particular country has not been, you know, finalized. So temporarily, they give them a passport with which they can at least move around or do one or two things. It's called alien passports. Yes, visas are put in such passports. Now, I also noticed that if you have, a, a, for, for some people that have hold alien passports when they're filling the form what they do for instance if someone has a, a finnish alien passport when he or she is filling the form what they do the mistake they make is they feel a country of nationality they put let's say for instance liberia and then because of that they put liberian because of that it charges them as liberians and that is wrong you're supposed under the country of nationality you're going to put the country that has issued you that alien passport so if finland issued you an alien passport when you're filling the form you put their country of nationality finland so you're going to pay as a finish and then one other thing i want to say is i've seen it so often some people are uh, when they're filling the form you know uh, from the options of the type of passport they have they pick uh, you know, uh, they pick official passport and that official passport is for diplomats. You're supposed to pick what you're supposed to pick is standard passport. Standard passport is what you're supposed to pick. So now you see what happens is when they pick uh, official passport, it now treats them like diplomats. And then at the end of the application, they're not required to pay because diplomats, their visas are gratis. They don't pay for it. They, they don't pay for it. So, and then they wonder what, what, what happened? Um, it, it didn't charge me. It didn't charge. That's because they picked the wrong passport type. They picked the wrong passport type. So if you pick the wrong passport type or the wrong nationality, that's going to be a problem in your application. And then one other thing I want to say also is that in all of these visas that I've mentioned, be it business visa, be it a TWP, be it an STL visa, a diplomatic visa, your passports must be valid for at least six months. If it's not valid, then I'm afraid you would not be issued uh, any of those visas uh, to Nigeria. So please make sure that your passports are valid for at least six months and then you provide all those things that I'm going to be, you know, uh, putting in the description box and uh, your visas will be granted. And, you know, the good thing is that when during this whole pandemic, you know, when uh, most countries were shut down, these visas that I just mentioned now, they were considered as essential uh, uh, by the Nigerian government. So most of them were still being, we were still issuing visas to this category of uh, uh, of applicants so uh because the government of nigeria considered them you know uh essential essential so um i just want to say that uh, remember your passport must be valid for at least six months and then you provide all of this and you will be issued the visa that you have requested for so i hope this video has been helpful to someone again and uh, if you have any questions please do feel free and send it to the comment uh, section and I will uh, uh, I will uh, be so pleased to take your questions to the best of my ability thank you so much and for those of you that are yet to subscribe please hit the subscription button so that uh, you'll be the first to know when I have a new video uh, update so thank you so much and I hope that uh, as you make your applications that this video is going to make it easier for you and it's going to be of tremendous help to you and make it very easy that's the essence thank you so much once again stay blessed and stay safe bye bye